Okay. And you're not gonna let me look at my diary? There you go. That's weird. Uh, the whole time in the catacombs, I wondered what I'd become of Leonardo. When I found his message, a huge weight was lifted off my chest. There was a, no time to celebrate. I was in the midst of an unknown enemy's ranks, and finally the gravity of my situation hit me. Leonardo would say it was my open mind that got me out of this mess in the end, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> Look did it share. Did it also help that the fact that the people following you or chasing after you were absolute dumbasses. Um, the Chronicle of the Order is in my hand, and thanks to the letter Leonardo left me, I know where to meet him again. Our expedition was nerve-wracking, but when I look back at it, it was a success after all. Now I must go to the house of Luca Chioli. I don't know if that would be a, a chi sound. Chioli. Uh, Leonardo's a good friend, and whom he has spoken to me many times. I think, uh, I mean, you can't, can't check. Yeah, the, I think um, in the Chronicles and the, um, at the start of the game, the, um, the, when you click new game and stuff, it, it says his name's, um, what, what did it say his name was? It's Giacomo something of Ferrara. So, yeah. Uh, simple. Yoink. It's normally like video game rules of threes, but in this one it's like four, which is quite funny. I need that there. Aha. Oh, it was video game was a three. I thought there was uh there was four of those puzzles. That's weird. I ain't played this game recently and I've already forgot. It's uh that's what you get I guess. It's so weird. Of course, we can't just go up in this dark stairs. We have to elaborately uh, interact with the dragon. Nice. Cool way to light up a bloody um, like like, like a candle or a lantern. Yeah. So this is the symbol square. Easy. I get this is probably the um one of the biggest levels in the game. The uh, start of this one is um. I say big. It there's a lot of back and forth in this in a lot of these levels, and it kind of gets tiring. You know, going back and forth and not being able to go faster because the game likes to have these weird transitions. It, it's uh it's fine I guess. It's just it could be uh it could be a lot faster. But I am a very impatient person, so So you can't go up these steps because obviously something needs to go here to make them work, which is kind of obvious. Uh we can't do anything with this because we need something for this here. Um the only way to go is just the door. Again, we don't really need an interaction with this. Like... 
don't know why they decided to make that thing. Very odd. Well, was... the house is empty. Leo's probably already left. Well, he didn't wait for me, did he? I'm sure he must have left the message. So what you do is you chuck the book in here. Dearest friend, I'm glad you're able to find both this residence and what came to the and what we came to the script, script scriptorium for? You mean monastery? Would it be a scriptorium? I guess they do copy shit, don't they? Uh, as you surely noticed, this place is deserted. My friend, you know who I'm talking about, and I decided to go to the place where we will meet. I am sorry about this test, but I need to be sure that whoever's reading this, these words is indeed you. Look around, be precise, and know that the wind will whisper about the path to take. A friend. P.S. As always, I wish you good luck with an open mind. And, and an open mind. Look for a cock. Nice weird hint there, but okay. So, this weird handle. It's right there. So our destination is to go all the way around here um, and eat up here. So we got to move it so... Oh, shit. Uh, I think we come around up here. That flips this straight, and we go that way. That's a one full rotation, isn't it? Okay. They had a weird... Uh, did they have release in the first or second game? I don't think they did. Um... Oh, you massive bastard. Oh, no, I don't need to. Wait, oh, no. I got excited then. Pretty sure I'm doing this wrong. Oh no, I got it. I got it eventually. All that, right? All that just to do that. Like. I know. That is. So elaborate. It's almost too elaborate. Iron bound disc. We need that. I can't do anything with this. We'll head in here. Oh, uh oh, good lord. He writes way too much. I followed the instructions Leonardo left me and find Luca's village. It's quite remote, but nicely restored and walled off with, with a high wall. The house is completely silent, but it's too um, it's too early to draw any conclusions. Besides, this is where we were supposed to meet, and I need to get in. The main door is barricaded from the inside, but I managed to open it with a good deal of brute force. It seems neither Leonardo nor his friend Luca are here. We need to find out what happened to them, but it looks like their adventure, however, rushed was was however rushed was voluntary departure I, I don't know why i read that as adventure uh as expected the master left me another message he well, i was intrigued by the rooster sketch and the words the wind will whisper about the path to take this must mean something i have no idea. even to this day i don't know what that means uh, either way uh, i have to do something i can i have to do something everything i can to pass leonardo's test i don't even know why i'm bothered reading i keep reading everything wrong and knowing him, it won't be easy, but I'm sure it's not to make it too hard for anyone who follows us. Uh, behind a massive door, I found a room where Leonardo's you know, probably spent a lot of time in recent years. The study he used during this time with Luca. He reminded me of his workshop in both Florence and Milan. 
seems like only yesterday that was entering I was entering this service under the rather unfortunate circumstances. Everything in this room conveys Leonardo's style. Ornamental but practical furniture and lots of mechanical models, tools and gadgets. You can see that the master has a free hand in his work. But yeah, there's more. On one hand, I'm sorry Leonardo and I won't be meeting, but on the other, I'm very much looking forward to testing all his inventions myself. Some people would pay Hampton to me for such an opportunity. For example, Cesare Borgia. Some people would be more interested in discovering the master's secrets and using his knowledge to gain more power instead of a better understanding of their functionality. Well, Cesare is a bastard. Um, so, I guess now we started to like be lit off the leash, I guess you could say. So, this is what we got here. Can't do nothing with it yet. It's per usual, if it's got a plus, it means you have to. You have to merge it with something and we don't have that something so so let's have a look around shall we got something here that we can't interact with uh, where did this go there you line up the numbers obviously that's what we're looking for. Cart model. Which goes... On here. Click. This is what we need. Now we have a lever. Or a lever. As some people would see. Which goes in here. Okay. Uh, this, this. Key. I can't elaborate where to hide a bloody key. So we can't interact with this anymore. But as you can see, we could still zoom in on it, meaning we'd have to get this eventually, as the usual. Weird shaped crossed key, which goes inside this cabinet thing here. So, just in case you've not realised, this model here is uh, of the villa. Uh, the cart is basically what we just turned. Uh, this here is the windmill. And this room here, which we don't know what's in there, is basically this room here. Uh, in, the, in the back. If you head outside, you'll see there's a, there's a windmill here. It's broken. Someone's bastard it. But yeah. We have to fix it. That's basically what we're heading towards for fixing the windmill and uh, shit like that. Now, which one are we doing? This one. So this puzzle confused me at first. Like, I didn't really understand what he wanted me to do. And if I remember correctly, you need to point these. Um, these can be moved. I think you have to point them in the direction of the lines. So, like, it's going left, and then it's down. And then this one is going, like, at an angle. This one's going up, that one's going that way, and then this one's going... Direction... And down and then there yeah yeah that took me a while to do because I didn't fully grasp I wasn't sure which which way you're supposed to go like was you supposed to go from the top all the way down to the bottom or was the bottom to the top but yeah we think we got it we got it let's take this Got a little key in it. Do we need to do anything else with this? Uh, don't think so. No. So this key, it goes in here. It's one of those keys that you wind up uh, springs with. Go 
Nice. Nice. Oh, everything's got such a nice, nice noise. It's a very nice noise. Can I, let me click on it. Thank you very much. wooden frame as you can see that moves the compass you can just see it in the background so we're going like that so you may not understand what I'm why I'm doing this because is that a letter up there? No. Um. Basically, in fact, we, uh, I must have to do this uh, later. Yeah, you know, I'll I'll do that in a minute. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself too much. I'm doing things out of um out of order. Oh no, I'm not. I can't do that because I need the uh yeah. So this door here. Yeah, this. This door is uh, is what the uh, the little cart is hiding behind, basically. Well, that little model cart was anyway. And the thing we just turned um, with those four g green gems is basically this model here. And we can't do anything because we need a uh, a lever here, and uh, we need something here. And the cart sits on like here, or later on anyway. This is a well. I think, uh, yeah. What what I'm done? What I've done is I've I've missed something because I'm doing puzzles out of order. Um, I'm trying to think what it is. This should be like um that gate we went to a second ago with that weird line behind it. Uh, you can open it, and I forgot. Ah, oh, which bloody puzzle? It's not the one here because that doesn't open yet. It's not that. But yeah, this this thing here is basically it's whatever's in. Can we even see in here yet? Like, kinda. You see this like weird wooden. I think it's I think it's called a screw. Yeah, we can't get in here just yet. But yeah, we'll get behind that later. We can't do anything here because we need a key. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Uh, this goes in here. Can I... Full magazine. So we need this. It's got um, arrows in. As you can see. We need that for, for something later, but... Yeah, I thought you could move that. Wow. What a massive dumbass I am. That must have been frustrating if you knew what to do. I even I even looked at that thinking I'd done everything on it. It's almost like I've not played this game before. Uh, this one's quite easy to do. Quite finicky that. So this lion goes here. It's an odd way to lower your stairs. There's the golden cock. That's what we're heading towards. Mechanical part with wooden handle. Hello, Luca. Last time we asked you, you asked why I didn't create something more interesting than my ever-present mazes or mazes. 
so I thought I would make you happy. Uh, what you see before you is a weapon I fashioned after Master Jeanette's crossbow with my repeatable mechanism added. It's rapid fire, yet penetrating and accurate. Cool. Set up some targets in the yard, you'll find bolts in the study downstairs. I've already got the bolts, that's what these are for. But obviously, yeah, I did this puzzle way out of order because I am a massive idiot. But as you can see, there's no crossbow here. But we can head. There it is. We can head through time. So the whole point of going through time at the moment is uh, is these targets. You shoot. In fact, there's nothing for me to do but go through this. In fact, let's go up here for a second. So this opens that. But we can't do anything. We can't do that just yet. So we'll go back down. There's no reason to interact with this weird box thing because we can't do anything with it. So logically speaking, the only way to go forward is come here. So stick the repeating mechanism on and the magazine. Uh, we need to crank it. So your goal here is to shoot these um, clay parts. Remember these in the past were blocking this entrance here where there's like a, a grate. So if we break them all, then the entrance will be uh, free to be uh, opened. There's one there. There's... Oops. So... It's, there we go. Accidentally um, pressing the wrong button. Uh, there's another one somewhere. Oh no. In fact, let's do this before. So if we turn this. So that tree is not there in the uh, in the present for some reason. Somebody's um, moved it. If you hit this, hit it again. Keep trying to click on this, and I keep going just above it. And we can also shoot the bell because it's got a red wire on it. Or rope. And then we can also shoot the grate. Well, for some reason I had a a black screen of death, and I had to restart. And when I restarted the game, uh, it it had this weird bug. What the fuck's that about? That's that's not supposed to happen, is it? What's really annoying is I've played this game at least twice in that the past like two weeks, and I didn't encounter any bugs. As soon as I start recording, it decides to give me bugs. Uh. I've already broke that. I'm missing a, uh, a part. In fact, let's get this before we while we're here. This is a ring with ornamental handle. Okay. I'm trying to think where the last part is. I think it's uh, somewhere obvious and I'm just massively blind and I can't see it. Go over here. There it is. It's there. I don't think I can... Oh no, I can. There we go. So, as you can see, uh, yeah, I shot this grate here and then it decided to bug out on me. But yeah, I, I, you can't see it now because for some fucking reason there's some weird white lines. There's uh, There was a piece of right red rope and you shoot that and it opens up. Uh, it's so you can... Kind of. As you can see, it's it's open. No, it's open this now, and the bell that fell down in the past is there, waiting for us to to loot it. But before we do that, 
Yeah, so if you don't shoot the pots, the pots are basically in the way and you can't get around them. Because for some reason, Giacomo doesn't know how to break porcelain pots or clay pots because, yeah, it's useless like that. And all there. Oh, another letter. The last thing one notices is that the center of Luca's entire estate is an old mill. Long years of, uh, of use and equally long years of inactivity, uh, inaction have taken its toll on it. If we're going to use it for uh, innovation, we must make the necessary repairs. Uh, I've never believed mere repairs would be enough. One of the reasons this mill is in such a bad shape is that the veins or vans isolated I, th I don't I can't read that word rotated at different angles is that really an R yeah repairs that's an R it's I don't I don't I don't get it wow imagine if you, you had to read this for a living I'd, not that well. uh rotated at I don't. I think the veins are the uh, the arms, like the wind veins. I think they rotate at different angles, destabilizing the whole mechanism. Determined to prevent this happening in the future, I linked the rotation of the veins with gears. However, after adjusting the mechanism, uh, rotating the tilt of the veins proved to be very demanding activity. So I added a modern controls, a new and stronger metal axis with a proper handle. That allows you to use your whole body to move it. Once I've finished the Archimedes screw in the workshop annex, I can place it in the well and the innovation system will be ready. So he's basically turning his windmill into a uh, into a he's using the Archimedes screw in the well. Which goes in here to pump water. And the Archimedes screw is is pumped using the windmill. Which is uh it's pretty damn cool. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's definitely a way to get water without uh, back breaking. You need to constantly bring buckets from a well. So the Archimedes screw is that wooden thing that we saw as it was um, over here. Uh, so our objective is obviously to repair the the windmill. 